So I'm Scott Rashid. I'm uh, the director of the Colorado Avian Research and Rehabilitation Institute. And one of the things that I really enjoy doing is studying northern pygmy owls. I've been researching northern pygmy owls since 1998, and I specialize in an area on the north side of Rocky Mountain National Park. And um, I'm actually here this year to see if I can hopefully find a pair of northern pygmy owls. They've been in this area for many, many years, or should say a pair, I can't guarantee it's the same pair, and they often nest in woodpecker holes, usually flicker cavities, aspens, they prefer flicker cavities and aspen. I've also seen them in uh, hairy woodpecker cavities. Uh, found about 18 northern pygmy owl nests over the years, and all, of, all but two have been in aspens. And the nests are always on the edge of a wooded area, Pygmy owls like to hunt an open meadow as well as in the woods itself. They hunt for voles, mice, chipmunks, a wide variety of birds. They'll often take young birds out of nests. In other words, they take the male will go out and take nestling songbirds and deliver them to his offspring. And so it is now uh, late June and I'm out here looking to hopefully find some fledglings because this is about the time they fledged. They've been looking out of the nest cavity for a couple days now. So I'm hoping with any luck I will be able to come across one of the nestlings and hopefully catch one. Occasionally I'm able to catch them by hand. And if I can do that, I'll be able to put a, a band on them, a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service aluminum leg band with a number. And that way, hopefully, we can then keep track. If the bird's ever found again, I'll gain some insight into how long the bird lived, where the bird moved to, and with any luck, uh, the adult or maybe one of the offspring will come back to the same general vicinity next year and re-nest again. And we're here this morning because I'm hoping the owl is going to jump the nest for the first time. And so I'm looking to see if there's any owl that's out somewhere. Because when they come out, sometimes they end up on the ground. Sometimes they end up on a small branch somewhere. I was here yesterday and mom was harassing me pretty heavily, making me think that at least one of the owlets had fledged. There's at least two more inside the hole. And a lot of times if I call, the owls will risk the babies where is mom. There's mom. She just called. So it's kind of an irt sound that she makes. And that's her agitation call, which means uh, she wants us to leave because the owlets are here somewhere. It must mean we're getting closer to one of the little guys. Mom's telling the babies not to talk, and at the same time telling me to leave. Yesterday when I came in, she was back behind us in this aspen behind there, and she attacked me several times, right over here, back and forth. But then I looked up there, there still two babies in the hole. I picked, got a picture of both of them looking out at the same time. So if there was one out, I couldn't find out where, I spent three hours here, and I couldn't figure out where it was. That was her. One of the babies is right up here, I just can't see. Oh, she's back into it again, she's back again. Looking right at me. So I can find them without the... There's two branches that curve together. There they are, okay, so down below those two are curved, okay. Right there. Right. there he is. And she's right there. Uh, when it comes to fledging pygmy owls, normally if there's two owlets, in other words two baby owls, they both fledge in the morning, pretty much one right after the other. If there's three owlets or more that tend to fledge over a two-day period. One fledges the first day, the next two fledge the next day. Mm -hmm. Hi. How are you? 
This is the wrong place to be. I'm gonna fix this one, okay? Hi. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I know, it's okay. I'm just gonna put you in a tree. By the rest of your family, okay? I'm going to put you in a tree next to the rest of your family. Okay? Okay, you're okay. No problem. Not a big deal. Okay. We'll fix you. The fledgling northern pygmy owl. When I band them, I make sure that because they have such a feathered tarsus, I like to make sure that the band does not pinch her little legs. Here's the band. Band number is 1014-43957. There's your little wing. And her little tail. And there she is. Even at this young age, they're all feet. Little eye spots in the back of her head. Isn't that an amazing little bird? for a bird of prey. I would guess it's a little boy because he's not very big. But then again, when they come out of the nest, none of them are very big. And some species, females fledge first, other species, males fledge first. But if she's very fat, which is a very good sign, now we're going to put him up in a tree close to the other ones and we'll see, hopefully he'll uh, all meet together.